Hi, this is Paul with a C sharp exercise from the book uh, Visual C sharp How to Program, uh, Chapter 8, Exercise 11 Array Manipulations. This is a simple exercise where we'll be doing some uh, basic manipulations with array. Uh, first, we will set three elements of the integer array counts, that's the name of the array, counts, to zero. Second, we will add one to each of four elements of another array called uh, a bonus. Uh, and finally, we will display five values of integer array best scores in column format. All right, so let's do A, uh, set three elements of integer array counts to zero. So let's de declare the, the, uh, the array. So it's a, we know it's an integer array called count. And uh, it equals new uh, integer array with, uh, it doesn't really matter how many, uh, let's say three elements. It could be more, but we're only supposed to uh, assign three of them, so I'll just use three. And over here, all you have to do is uh, call each of those elements. So count, count is the name of the array element zero and assigned zero to it. Now you do the same thing. Uh, is this is supposed to be count. It's counts because of course uh, giving me a hard time due to being the keyword, you know. <laughs> so uh, count like that. One, that's the element one and that equals zero as well. And finally counts element two equals zero. Now if I had, you know, ten elements there, doesn't matter. All I'm doing is assigning assigning the first three. Or you can do, if there was ten of them, I can come over here and do element eight, for example, and skip some of them. You know, this is the index. This is the, how you call the element within the array. This is the first one, second one, and this one would be actually the uh, seventh one because this is, uh, you know, zero based. So it actually would be the, I'm sorry, it would be the ninth one, not the eighth one. Element, element A, but it's actually, I mean the index eight, but it's uh, element nine because we start from zero. Okay, so this is how you assign the uh, values to directly to each element. So that's uh, our A. Now we get another array. So I'll just copy paste this. Uh, this is supposed to be an integer array again. Uh, this one is called uh, bonus. And um, let me rename that. So now I have two arrays, one, ah, not all of them, I'm sorry. I only wanna rename this one. All right, so uh, let me build it to get rid of the error because that is not really error. All right, so now I have uh, an array of uh, called bonus and uh, we will add one to each of the four elements of integer array bonus. So that's four elements. They want us to make uh, four elements. So I will, I will do four over here instead of 10 or over actually it's and um, let me see, this is, uh, yeah, this is the same thing. So all I do is, uh, you know what, let me, let me just do it. Uh, bonus uh, zero equals one. So now this element equals one. And uh, I will copy paste it. We have four elements, so uh, one, two, and three. So now element one is one, element two, well, element zero, element one, element two, and element three. They all are uh, now ha hold a value of one. And finally, we will display five values of integer array best scores in column format. So here we go, another, another integer array. Uh, so I've, it will be. It will have five values. 
I'll call it best scores equals new integer and uh, it will have uh, five values or five elements okay so now they want us to uh, display the five values so first we need to add some values to it right now you know they're just zeros so uh, I will do best scores uh, zero and I will assign a value let's say 10 why not so then I will copy paste it five times so one two element three and element four and this one will be let's say 20 30 40 and 50 there's five elements but again it starts from zero so that's why element four is 50 you know there's no element five actually I mean we have five elements but there's no index five I'm sorry so now we have to display each of these elements or the values in a column format so if I go uh, and loop through them um, let's say for integer i equals uh, zero i is less uh, well, you can either just write five because that's five elements. But if you if you had more elements or if you wanted to add some later, it's better to just do best scores dot uh, count, and uh, they will give you the size of the array, how many elements there are, and uh, I plus plus. And uh, okay, I replied. Oh. Sorry about that. It's the length, not count. All right, so uh, we do that, and uh, over here we'll simply do console dot uh, right line, and the best scores, and the element, uh, uh, the index we are trying to reach, is now i, i equals zero, so that's gonna be our first one. Then i will equal 1, so it's going to be a second uh, best score, i equals 2, so it's going to be the next one, and so forth. So we, we will pass the value of i, which will now serve as the index. Alright, so uh, now if I run it, let me just do console that uh, read line. If I run it now, it should simply output uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And it does. So, uh, so you can see that it's uh, over here. We don't we don't really output anything. The, these are simply assignments. Uh, you know, they don't want us to output anything. But we didn't get any error, so clearly it worked. And um, in this one, like I said, we assigned values for each index uh, or for each element, from zero through four. So that's five elements together and also we loop through best scores that length which is uh which will give you you know the length of the array or how many elements there are so it actually so it loops five times basically in our case and for each time it loops it outputs the the number the value that is in each of the elements so again i equals zero which is an our best scores 0 equals 10 so it will uh, simply output 10 then I will equal 1 so which is now going to be our best score 1 and it outputs 20 then I will equal 2 and it will it will loop 5 times so from 0 we start from 0 to 4 so and so now when I output I that actually corresponds with the each uh, element or each index of each element in the array so that was the basic manipulation i hope it was helpful and i will see you next time take care hi um, after i shot the video i realized that the, what i wanted us to do here in the part b to add one to each of the four elements uh, we, we just set it to one we didn't really add to it i think what they want us to do is to 
use like a math, a plus. So let's say over here we initialize them uh, each of the elements to one. Uh, we could add one simply by you know entering plus equals one, and it would add one to whatever value of the, the that element was. If we add in more elements, it's better in the loop. Uh, so over here, if I go, if I do four integer i equals zero, the standard loop uh, i is less than bonus that uh, uh, length, and of course i plus plus. And uh, over here, all I have to do is uh, add one to each element, so which is going to be simply bonus an element of i again, because like again, like just like it was before, i now represents the index for each of the uh, elements in the array. Plus equals one. So uh, now, after this loop finishes, we will add one to each element. So now. At the end, they will bonus uh, elements uh, uh, in with index zero will be two. This one will be two. Oh, they all will be two. So, um, in fact, let me let me even output it just so you can see. If I go over here and do console the the right line, and I will output the element now, it will simply output. Uh, four numbers of two. So uh, let me see. So here is our first loop, which is the best scores 10, 20, all the way through 40, 50. And now we have all two because we added one to the each of the elements. So I just wanted to uh, do this quick. Uh, uh, I don't know. I just think this is what they wanted us to do to actually uh, not just to set it to one. Like each of the elements, like we did in our uh, counts array, but uh, to add one to each of the elements. So, for example, if I do, if this one is, uh, if I'll set this one to ten, this one to eleven. Now let's make it uh, ten, twenty, thirty, and forty. Now it will output uh, eleven, twenty-one, thirty-one, and forty-one. As you can see, 11, 21, 31, and 41, because we added one. We actually performed a mathematical operation of adding one to the value of each of the elements. All right, so that was just a brief uh, conclusion uh, and kind of setting the record straight, so to speak. I hope it was helpful, and I will see you next time. Take care.